the name of the Lord for another day. Praise God. The day that the Lord has made and we shall all rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for the miracle of waking, of sleeping, of waking up, of going up. For those of us who are outside, who have been awake since, we thank God. It's the mercy of God that has kept us. And he's kept us since the first day. Today is the sixth day. Tomorrow will be the grand finale. Hallelujah. So this, um, the, this time we'll just go into prayers and we'll start what the Lord has for us today. Father, we're grateful. Once again, we have come. When you send, you expect us to obey and you do the rest. Father, as you have told me, I have done. Thank you for your children who keep on coming for their blessing, for the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Thank you for your enablement. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your anointing that you've poured upon us in this first month. That is the help, the, the unction that we need in the year 2021 because by ourselves, we cannot do it. We can't walk that work. We are grateful, Lord. Daddy, as we go into this sixth day, Holy Spirit, come and teach us exactly what you want us to learn, what you want us to know, what you want us to be guarded with. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Today, our key scripture is Joel 2.26. Joel 2.26, and it reads thus. And ye shall be, ye shall eat in plenty. 
You I will eat, I will eat in plenty. I mean, just soon. These are the promises of God unto us, unto all of us. We shall eat in plenty. Once you, you, um, once you get his, his um, promise of the autumn, the fall rain, the winter rain, and the spring rain, all the three rains that a farmer needs, which we have been getting since the second day of this, praise the Lord, since the second day of this, um, of this prayer conference, the Lord has been raining it upon us. And when he rains, we read in verse 24 that our wheat, our floor will be full of wheat, our wine presses will be full, our oil, progressive blessing, amen. And then we read in verse 25 that the years, so not only will you be currently blessed in the year 2021, all the losses of yesteryears, all the promise, the unfulfilled promises of yesteryears, the Lord God of heaven, we start, we restore to us. That's what we learned yesterday and day before yesterday. If you have not been joining us, please just go on YouTube. They are there, they are on faith, Facebook as well. So, oh, it's like compound interest. Everything that you have lost, everything you have not attained, attained that the Lord has promised, you will start to get it. And now what happened? The Lord now said in verse 26, Still on this, this um, blessing of the rains, the rains that he has poured upon us, then we shall eat in plenty. Hallelujah. How we eat in plenty, you will be plenty and you will be satisfied. There are some that you eat and you are not really satisfied. You still want more. Oh, yekere bosa. Or you are not eating what you want to eat in the mighty name of Jesus. In this year, 2021 and beyond, you will eat and be satisfied. You will eat what is good for you. The, uh, Job said, give me, don't, I mean, in the book of Proverbs, hey, give me food that is sufficient for me, for me. We will not eat, like a lot of us now, we will not, it's not as if to say you want to eat plenty of salt or plenty of sugar or a lot of carbs. No, you have it, but you know it's not good for you. But the food that is sufficient for you physically, spiritually, we will not feed from shepherds that are just preaching their own word, but shepherds that are feeding us from the word of God. Hallelujah. You know, in your place of work, you will not be, you will not labor. It will not be hard labor before you eat. It will not be that you are laboring as an elephant and you are eating like like an ant. No, that is not satisfaction. Father says, because of the reign of his glory, hallelujah, you and I will be satisfied and we will praise the name of the Lord. One thing this year that I want us to know is praise, praise, praise God on the mountaintop, praise God in the valley below, Praise God when you can even exercise, you know, little things I praise God for. Little things in my life, they are magnified. They are like big things, big, big. I can talk. I can walk. I can see. Do you know how many people can't even swallow because of the muscle in their neck, in their system? Do you know people can't walk who are younger than you, older than you? This year will be a year where we praise the name of the Lord. He says, because he has drawn wondrously. And I look at that word wondrously. They say, because he has done miracles. He has done miracles. He has done wonderfully well. So whatever the Lord is going to do in your life in 2021, it's a miracle. What we are having today, this prayer conference that we started since uh, Saturday, I just did it by faith. I said, Lord, if it's one or two people you have sent me and I will do, it's a miracle. It's a miracle people are turning up. Yesterday, we had 32 people on the line. 
It's a miracle. It's a miracle. What is it that the Lord has sent you or the Lord has given you, promised you? He says, because he will do it miraculously. Miraculously. Hallelujah. It does not have to be maybe something that you think is irreversible. It may be something that you think is impossible. Remember, the angel told Mary, with God, all things are possible. So our first prayer point today, you are going to tell the Lord, Father, I thank you. I thank you that my situation will be a miracle. My situation will be a miracle. It will not be hard for you, Lord. It will not be hard for you, Lord. My life will be a miracle in the year 2021. People will wonder and say, ha. Ah, this can only be God in the name of Jesus. My father, make my life a miracle. Make it a wonder. Make it a wonder. Make the life of my family a wonder. The life of my children a wonder. The life of my spouse a wonder. Make it a wonder. Make my job a wonder. My business. Oh, my yekerebosa. Maybe somebody's business has been dwindling, dying because of the pandemic, because of the lockdowns. God of heaven, when he reigns uh, miraculously, he says, it will be, we will praise the name of the Lord because he will have done wondrously, wondrously above and beyond. Father, we thank you. Daddy, we thank you because you are faithful. You are faithful, Lord. As you have promised, you will do. As you have promised, you will do. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And he continues, he says, and my people shall never be ashamed. You and I, we will never be ashamed because of the miracle of God, what God will do. He will satisfy us. Hallelujah. And I looked at the word, uh, we will not be put to shame. And God brought two, two examples to me. The first one is in John 4, 14. John 4, 14. We know the story very well. The woman at the well, at the well, you know, she had never had a, 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 a prosperous relationship or marriage as it were. And, you know, this woman, you know, has just been, um, had just been from one man to another. In John 4, 14, John 4, 14, it reads that this woman, she came to fetch water. Her life was full of shame. She even came at a point when nobody, she will not meet anybody. So they won't be pointing and say, you see her, you see your, your, uh, hey, she's going again. She has come here again. Don't let her carry her, her shame on us. So we have husband, we have children. Our own businesses, they are doing I do not know what is bringing shame and disgrace and dishonor to your life. The Lord has promised us this way, that by the reason of the rain, by the reason of the anointing and the words is given us, you and I will not be put to shame. So as the Lord, the Lord told her in that 14, he said, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give shall never thirst again. We have come to receive the word of life. We have come to receive the reign of his glory. We shall never be ashamed. Jesus took away that shame from that woman. And guess what? She became an evangelist. She started to tell people. And the Lord turned her situation around, you know, 360, uh, 360 degrees. We are going to cry this this day, this hour, and say, Father, by the reign of your glory, oh my Yekerebosa, by the reign of your glory, every shame in my life, every shame, Lord, uh, turn it into glory. Every shame, every reproach, Father, turn it into glory. My God, turn it into glory. Father, Lord, you gave the woman at the well in Samaria, you gave her the water of life, and Daddy, she was never thirsty again of glory. Father, you remove shame. You wash the way shame. You said we will never be ashamed. My father, my God, as I've come to receive, as I've come to receive, my father, the reign of your glory this year, Lord, every shame in my life, every reproach in my life, daddy, thank you that you're going to remove in Jesus' name. We have prayed. 
Amen. And I look at the word shame. It says disgrace. Disgrace. Ashamed forever. It's as if the enemy has said, this stigma on your life will be forever. Hey, yekerebosa. By the, by the unction, by the reason of the unction that you are receiving, that I am receiving, we will never know shame again. He says, confounded, we will not be confounded, we will not be in disarray, we will not be, um, be confused, hallelujah, as to what to do, what not to do. We will not be despised. You know some people, when you speak, when even in Christendom, they'll say, what's she saying? Well, what's he speaking? What does he know? He can't even quote the Bible as we do. He can't pray as we do. She can't pray, despite, despite. After all, she's in this church. She doesn't have a child. She doesn't have a husband. She, they will just bring labels that God has not labeled you with. We are going to pray that, Father, let us go into another one in Luke 8. Luke 8 is the story of the woman with the issue of blood. She doesn't even have a name anymore. Can you imagine? They are now labeling her, the woman with the issue of blood. She has lost her identity. I don't know what identity has been stolen from you because of the issue you're going through, because of the issue in your life. By the reason of this reign, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the reason of this reign, I pray, I pray, I pray that God of heaven will remove every evil, every, every label, evil label. We are going to cry unto the Lord and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh my Jekerebosa, by the reason, by the reason, by the reason of the glorious reign, glorious reign that has been raining upon me, Lord, that has been raining upon me, Lord, since the beginning of the year, Masoto Yekerebo, reign of your glory, reign of your anointing, reign of your word, my God and my King, I pray in the name of Jesus, Masoto Yekerebosa, Makuria Basataya Karaba, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord my God, I pray, I pray every evil label, every evil label that the enemy has put on my business, on my children, on my family, on my health, on my ministry, on the church you have given me, my father, my God, on my spouse, pray, on your job, your career, that brother that can keep a job, that sister that can even get a job, talk less of keep, oh, let's pray, my God and my King, by the reason, by the reason, I will not be put to shame. My God, I will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree, Lord, based on the authority of your word, that I will not be ashamed. I will not be put to shame. I will not be disgraced. I will not be disqualified. Oh, Lord, my God, everything that represents shame, that represents uh, despise, that represents uh, 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 shame in my life, oh Lord my God, I thank you, Lord, that will cause me to be despised. Thank you that you have removed it from me. Thank you, God, that you have removed it from me in the mighty name of Jesus. It continues. He said, This initial pain. <laughs> and then they said, She had had it for 12 years, she has spent all her living. She was almost in penury. It's as if God, if you don't come through, this issue will kill me. I won't even be able to go out. Maybe you, you won't be able to pay your house rent. Pandemic is here. People have lost their jobs. Some don't have jobs. And they are just, life is just so difficult. People are going to bed. Even in my country here in the United States, hungry, hungry. Hey, Makuri Abasata. He says to her, and it was, it was said that she has spent all her living all upon physicians and they could not help her. I don't know how many places you have gone to. I don't know how many, how much you have spent looking for help here and there. This year, it comes to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. We have three more minutes. 
for this segment, I want you to cry unto the Lord that everything that you have lost in ye yesteryears, even as the Lord promised us in that uh, verse 24, that he will, in, and 25, that he will restore, he will give unto us all the years that the canker woman, caterpillar have eaten, that physicians have eaten, that helpers of destiny have eaten. They are supposed to be helpers of destiny, but they came again to raid us. They are raiders yesterday. We read, that, uh, our minister told us that locusts, they are wasters, terrible satan, they are wasters of destiny. They are wasters of resources. I do not know. Just like this physician, they were just feeding off of this woman issue. I do not know what has been feeding off your issue. They have been feeding off. The Lord said, I have restored, I have restored all that you have lost in yesteryear. The Lord restored this woman as she taught the hem of his garment. Oh, cry unto the Lord this afternoon or this morning, where this evening, wherever you are. Oh, Lord, my God, I cry unto you. I cry unto you as this rain of your glory comes down upon me. All that I've lost, Lord, in yesteryears, to those who should have helped me, to those who say they can, but they could not. Even, Father, Lord, as you put an end to the drainage, both physically, the blood stopped, or oh, the issue stopped, and even the losses of money, of resources that were in her hand. Daddy, Lord, that she became almost, uh, 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 she was broke, she became almost poor. Father, I thank you. I thank you. By the reason of the rain, by the reason of this rain, oh my Yekerebosa, this glorious rain, the rain, the former rain, the latter rain, and the rain, because they are coming upon me this month, oh God, this first month. Thank you, oh Lord, for restoration. Thank you, my Father, my God, that you have restored, you restored, you took away shame. She was, she was smelling. She was an abomination. She was like a leper, like a leper. Oh, my God, my my God, my King, I pray for your children who are on the land right now. Those who are watching us through Facebook, those who will still watch us later, Father Lord, through the social media, through YouTube, I pray for them, Lord. Everything that, that is causing shame, that is a reproach in their life, that makes them to say unclean, don't come I don't belong. I can't be with you. They're even telling them, don't come near us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that it will stop by the reign of your glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. At this time, we will bring on our pastor, Pastor Bola Idowu, she's a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and she um, she uh, pastors a, a church here in Maryland. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm trying to, to find out. Oh, there she is. Did I lose you again? Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank Hallelujah. you for coming on. We bless Amen. the name of the Lord. Thank God for the anointing of God. Amen. 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 Hello. Good, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are this morning. Praise the name of the Lord for each and every one who has signed up. I thank God for his love and his mercy that he sent his word to each and every one of us to gladden our hearts as we start the first month of the new year of 2021. And I want to thank you, Pastor Jumi, for your heart of obedience, because some, some other um, woman of God, minister of God might have said, oh, we just finished, you know, fasting the whole of December again, you know, jumping into this. But I think one of the, the uh, coordinators you had earlier on the week said that we need, the Lord is empowering us so that we can know how we will run the race for the rest of the year. So praise the Lord. And like I said, I welcome all the other people as well, so that we can all be beneficiaries of this, of the promise of the Lord. Again, I'm just going to uh, it back on what the, the uh, prayer points that Pastor Jumi has led because my, my verse also for today is that Joel 2.26. And looking at the New Living Translation, it says, once again, praise the Lord, once again, 
you will have all the food you want and you will praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let me increase my volume here so that we can hear. And you will praise the Lord your God who does these miracles for you. Never again. We see in that verse, twice the word of the Lord said, once again and never again. Hallelujah. The New King James Version of the same verse said, and he shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord, your God, that has dealt wondrously with you. I always look for what makes the Lord to reverse course. I always want to see, to understand, Lord, why did you change your mind? So when we read the whole of the book of Joel, we see that he kept on uh, referring to, to the evil, to referring to the things that the, the people have done and the punishment of the Lord. And you know, each time, when we even, when I went back also to, to the, the children of Israel in Egypt, it, Moses intervened when the Lord said, look, I'm going to visit my wrath on the children of Israel. And the Bible tells us that Moses intervened on their, he intervened, he interceded on their behalf and the Lord changed his mind. So when in Joel also, we will see when we go back to the early part of verse of chapter two, he said that, you know, he, he, he priests were interceding, asking for mercy and reminding God that unbelievers will sneer at his children to ask where is their God. Mm -hmm. So I finally saw my answer in Joel two, which says, ah, that God, this is a message translation, say, ah, that God went into action to get his land back. He took pity on his people. God answered and spoke to his people. He said, look, listen, I'm sending a gift. Mm. The Lord started to declare what he will do. So our first prayer point this, this afternoon is to say, Lord, I thank you for you will have pity on my situation. I thank you because you will restore with your abundance. You will restore me with compensation. Let us start to, to, to thank God because the Lord had, had pity and then he started to, to declare blessings the Lord says, so let us pray this morning that the Lord will have pity upon you. As you thank him, the Lord this prayer conference in this first week thank you you have mercy you have pity on me you have pity on me in the name that day you have mercy on me Baba, you have mercy. Oh, my Jekere Bosa. Everything, everything concerning me, Lord. Everything concerning me. Daddy, Lord, my Jekere Bosa. You have mercy. You have compassion on me. You have mercy. You say you will have mercy on whom you have mercy. Father, have mercy on me. Oh, my have mercy on me. Starting from this first month, Father, have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus, for your holy name's sake. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. As a prayer point, we are going to say, Lord, let me be a candidate for your mercy. Pity me and let me experience your restoration and abundant blessing. Let us start to pray, Lord. Let me be a candidate for your mercy. Let me be a candidate, Lord, for your Father, mercy. Father, let me be a candidate. Baba, let me be a candidate of your mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, let me be a candidate. Lord, let me be a candidate. Father, let me be, let me be, 
Let me be a candidate, a candidate, a candidate, a candidate. Oh my ye kere bo 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 bo, oh my ye kere bo 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 sasa. Father, make me a candidate. Oh Lord, make me a candidate. Oh Lord, make me a candidate. Father, make me a candidate. Oh my ye kere bo 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 of your mercy. Father, make me a candidate. Oh Lord, make me a candidate. Make me a candidate of your mercy. You say you will have mercy on whom you will have mercy and you have compassion. On whom you will have compassion. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So in, in order for us to appreciate verse 26, I said we need to go back to verse 25 because it gives us a glimpse of what the situation looked like. After an invasion of locusts, they leave the land barren. Mm. Amen. One writer says it's like when fire has ravaged and mm. caught the land. So mm. there is just no. But when we, we go back, I think it was Pastor Jumi that took it that day. She said that the Lord said the rain is going to make this soil to become soft. So after the, the invasion of locusts, after the scorching of the land, the Lord needed to send the rain. The Lord needs, needed to send his blessing. So no matter what you have been going through, no matter whether it looks as if you have walked through the wilderness of life, because mm. you are holding on to the word of the Lord to send his sending, not only the former rain, but the latter rain in the first month. We are still in the first month. And the Lord is already speaking it into being as we are praying it into being into our lives and into our situations. Mm -hmm. So when we now look, again, the message version of that verse 25 says, I will make up for the years that you have lost. Mm -hmm. I will make up. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Bible said the word of the Lord is letting us know that, look, you are my precious possession. You, your family, everything concerning you, because you belong to Christ, yeah. that you are his special possession. Yes. Therefore, the Lord is saying to you and I, I will make up for the years. It's only mm. God that can make up for lost uh -huh. years. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. no, we, we by mm. our, by our own mental thing, we say, oh, yesterday is gone. Oh, we, I didn't mm. do this. Oh, I lost mm. it. Mm. But the Lord mm. is saying, I am the one in charge of time. Mm. I am the one in charge of seasons. So what are those things that you have lost? The Lord saying unto you, he said he will make up. We Amen. are going to lift up our voice and say, Father, let Father. it be unto me as you have said. Oh, make Father, up for the years I have be, lost, let for let the invasion of locusts, oh, from the invasion of fire, fire from the invasion and the persecution that the enemy has brought. Father, let me make up the for the years that the world will have lost. Be there in service of humanity, Father, what the enemy has brought. Father, Lord, whatever has been stood for me, whatever has been stood for me, whatever has been stood for me, that has lost my God and my King. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh my dear, my dear, I receive your word. That you will make of me. Baba, you will make of me. You will make of me. And I will give you plenty. I will be satisfied. I will be satisfied. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you. Ah, Daddy, you will make it all for me. And then I will eat it plenty. Oh, my dear, I will make it all for me. You will make up. Baba, you will make up. Oh, you are, you will make up. In the name of Jesus, my God, you will make up for me. Baba, you will make up. Amen. In Jeremiah 31, verse 2, Jeremiah 31, verse 2, he said, This is what the Lord says those who survive the coming destruction will find blessings on the barren land, for I will give rest to the people of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We all remember what 2020 was. We, we, we could physically say we, we were holding on and we wanted to just let go. Every, we were waiting patiently that Lord, just let me cross over to 2021. Mm. So the Lord is saying that you are a survivor. So this year you must walk with the mindset of a survivor. 
you survived the pandemic. You Amen. and your loved ones, your ministry, your church, your destiny, your career, you know, that the Lord kept the destiny of Joseph. And he kept on going through and going through and going through. So for you and I, the Lord is saying we have survived. You mm -hmm. have survived accidents. You have survived illnesses. You have survived diseases. You have survived mm -hmm. lack. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is saying that because you have survived it, he said you will find blessings on the barren land. People are mm -hmm. saying there are no jobs. People mm -hmm. are still being laid up. So mm -hmm. many things are still happening. But the My Lord God. said you and I will mm -hmm. find blessings in the barren land in this year. We are going to say, Lord, I thank you because I'm a survivor of the locust invasion, a survivor of the storm of COVID-19. My father, let me find a blessing in the name of the Father, Lord, you are going to survive. Let me find your blessings. Let me find your destiny helpers located. Let financial helpers located. Reveal to me the secrets of your riches, Lord. Reveal your treasures hidden in the darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Thank you, Lord. You will let your blessing locate. Let destiny help us locate. Let it get my job. Let it locate my family. Let my business. That is, Lord, everything concerning me. This ministry. Let help us of destiny locate. Let us help us of destiny locate. That I can do it by myself. Lord, and my help. Father, help me. Oh, my God, I can't Oh, mama, mama, so to ye kere bo sata. Daddy, Lord, my life will not be hard because I'm a survivor. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So when I look again at that verse 26, he said, you, we will have plenty to eat. The promise is that you will have a life full of everything you need to yes. sustain yourself in yes. joy and purpose. Amen. Deuteronomy 28 to have said, Lord, let your heavens be opened upon me. Mm -hmm. The storehouse of your bounty send rain on your land in season mm -hmm. and to bless all the works of my hand. Happy you will lend to many nations, but we will Amen. borrow from none. Oh, so no, let us lift up our voice to that Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, do not let me Jesus. lack any good thing. Baba, we will not lack any good thing. Father, help open your heavens, heavens, open open your heavens open open up. Let your heavens be open up. Oh, my open God, God, God. Paul, open the floodgate of heaven. Open the floodgate of heaven. Open the floodgate of heaven. Oh, my Arabah, sit down and rain upon me. The latter rain upon my rain the rain. Oh, my Yekere Bosa, my head will not lack. Any good thing, no God. My head will not lack. My life will not lack. Help us of destiny. In the year 2021, Baba will not lack anything. I shall be satisfied. I shall be satisfied. My children will not lack. Help us open up, in the name of in Jesus, the their life, oh Lord, will not be hard. Oh, my dear, my family, that is my job. Name. This ministry, whatever we will not lack. Help us on destiny. Oh, my dear, thank you that is already upon victorious circle. Thank you for raining. Thank you for raining upon victorious circle. Rain of your glory, rain of your glory. In Amen. Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. The Amen. number two point that you think of, he said, you will be satisfied, which Amen. means you will continue to enjoy until Amen. you are full, which Amen. means no area of your life would lack in Amen. the year 2021. Amen. And the Lord said, you start to do it from the first month. Praise Amen. the Lord. Let in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us quickly look at Deuteronomy 33, 23. Deuteronomy 33, verse 23. Here, Moses prayed for the tribe of Naphtali, saying, O Naphtali, overflowing with favor and Amen. full of the Lord's blessings, possesses the west and the south. Amen. Hallelujah. 
He Amen. said overflowing. When you eat and you are full, you have leftover. That is overflow. And here Moses prayed. And we don't read that, you know, the tribe of Naphtali ever suffered. They were always overflowing with favor. You are going to lift up your voice and you are going to say, Father, overflow Father, me with your favor. Overflow, overflow me with, me with your, your favor. Overflow Father, with your Father blessing. overflow me with your blessing. Oh, my God. Oh, let me overflow, let me overflow with favor. Let me be satisfied with favor. In the year 2021, in the name of Jesus, oh, my God. Father, let me overflow with favor. Overflow me with favor. Oh, no. Let me be full with the blessing yeah, of the Lord. Of the let me possess the blessings, the keys, the sound, the north, Father. Oh, my God, as Moses prayed for Nathalie. Oh, Lord, my God, I think. 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 Oh, Lord, my
Thank you, Father. I will never be despised. Lord, I give you glory. I give you honor. Once again, Lord, you return and remember me. Once again, oh Lord God Almighty, you will release your blessings and the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. I will remember you, God, in 2021. That Thank I will not Lord. be put to shame Thank in the you, name Lord. of Jesus. Thank Finally, you, just to say, increase my faith. Father, let us pray that the Lord will increase the faith of you and I to that hold on to that to word. Hold on to hold the on. word. Father, Father, increase my faith. faith. Increase my faith. Father, increase my faith. Hold on to all the words. God, yes, Father, thank you that you will do it. For everything my God, concerning me, concerning my, 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 my love, so to concerning my the church, concerning the ministry, concerning you, nations, oh Lord thank God, you, Lord. give us your love, Daddy, give Lord, us that the grace, grace, Lord God, increase the our grace. faith. Lord God, thank, we thank you, Father. you. So bless bless and glorify your holy name, O Lord. For in Jesus', Jesus. exalted name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Wonderful. Uh, I love that Deuteronomy 33. I love it. I love it. That laughter, you know, was, was satisfied. You know, I'm um, KJV says satisfied with favor. Please, after this meeting, let's go again to the Bible passages that uh, we have shared and we pray through, you know, we only have 45 minutes, so we can pray through, praise the Lord. And I want to tell us that please, for us, those, there are some people, they were even only able to join us today alone, but all from Saturday, all these recordings, they are on YouTube. Go there and if you can't find the link, go under Pastor Jumi, you will find my other, other, uh, other videos, but, you will see this one with the logo of Victoria Circle, the purple one. You will see it as you scroll through my name. If not, contact me. I'm on a, a WhatsApp. I will send the link to you. I want to thank the Lord. Tomorrow is our grand finale. Hallelujah. And you shall know. That's tomorrow. And you shall know that I'm the Lord. I love when our God boasts of himself. Of his, of his character traits. I love him. You know, I'm proud of being his, his child. Hallelujah. So that's our grand finale. And it's not going to be like how we have been doing it. It's going to be different. Please uh, send it, invite other people. And we, we, we will be in the last. The Lord reserves the, the best for the last. Amen. The glory of the mm -hmm. latter day, of the latter house. So... Please invite other people. Let's come in early. It's going to be different. And the Lord God of heaven, as he has been blessing us, you will experience his reign, his reign over you, over me, in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Bless you, bless you, children of God. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you.